back onto Project R32 GTR and uh, I've got a, quite a few things to go through today. So I've been looking around the car trying to figure out a couple of things that don't exactly work right. First off is, well, one, it is freezing cold outside and the heaters don't work on the car. So I've done a little bit of searching around trying to see, right, okay, so people mention that um, some people stop any fluids or anything like that going to the heater matrix by doing a delete and that way you can basically not have any heating but some people get a leaky heater matrix so it's kind of a quick little fix right well that's not what the case is here <laughs> the other thing is the wipers on the car they don't work properly um, whenever you turn the wipers on you have to go all the way to the third click and then it goes full speed and then to stop it you have to stop it precisely at the moment when it's at the bottom otherwise it just stops like here 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 whatever it wants to stop one of the things oh 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 actually can't forget also the heater system the 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 actual screen for that doesn't work so i need to remove that resolder some of the connection points on that as well as basically look at everything else but here's the interesting thing as I've started to take things apart and have a look around, I can't really find the things that I'm supposed to be finding. But at the same time, I find other things. So I'll show you what I mean. First off, at the engine, everything looks okay. It doesn't really look like... I can't really see anything that says to me that the heater matrix has been closed off from here. I might be a newbie to looking for that, but I can't see anything that looks too out of the norm. The other couple of things that I've been trying to look for was the fuse for the, the wiper module and stuff so i started to look around inside here because i thought okay there should be some stuff going on here so there's a kill switch that's been in uh, put into this car but just behind that i'm looking here and i'm like why are there so many loose cables going on and then i noticed that this guy has been put in front of the heat and matrix Ooh in front of the heater um, plugs and it's been crazily wired in so I'm gonna just briefly remove this from here and just move this across to the side and just have a look around what is actually going on this car's been through a hard life so nobody get too upset the car is definitely gonna get a respray and stuff so don't get upset that I'm doing this on the boot of the car but I just thought it'd be easier to show it here so there's three screws that you have to remove and whilst doing that the buttons that you might as well take them out you don't want to damage anything and then after that just gently prise away from all these connection points around it so I've gotten to this point now I think there's a couple of screws here let me go get the right screwdriver actually then from here right let's take this off I got a feeling the rest of it now is just gonna slide out there's another one these ones look longer than the other three so that's one thing to keep note of I wish I recorded the other part but I was just trying to figure everything out and got a little bit excited and carried away so I just carried on working on it so right okay I'm probably just gonna Hold on to here and try and push it off my back. Would that work? I'm not sure. Gotta somehow or another pull this thing out so this thing is in there tight. Right, there is a couple of screws here as well at the front. Maybe they need to come out. Right, so these two are, I think, the smallest ones that I've had to remove so far. Damn, how the hell? I think I've removed everything, but doesn't seem to be a clear way of how to pull this thing out I don't want to damage anything so I'm gonna spend some time on this off camera just to hopefully not break anything good news everybody you're about to watch me take this out way okay so this came out first this is really awkward you gotta basically just move the brown section around inside of there a fair amount Eventually, it'll probably come loose from these pins here. So I'm gonna move this to the table and actually keep this somewhere safe. And so then this guy, this guy looks like he doesn't wanna come out anytime soon. Well, not from what I can tell anyway, but 
Alright, let's um, play the bendy game. Slowly wedge it out somehow. I have no idea. Probably would have been better if it was warm today. Right now, I'm going to give a big shout out to Donny, the late model tech. He's got a really good video on YouTube at the moment. Um, basically, he shows how he um, soldered these points. So it's actually that that I was looking at as a point of reference. He doesn't show dismantling the actual um, face, well, the actual unit and stuff. But I can see the points in which this has broken. In fact, I'm going to use my Samsung uh, S21 Ultra to take some really close up macro photos. So let's go. Right. let's see what's the best way to do this all right you guys just i don't know if i could show you on the camera but it's coming out so obvious that so much of this is um beaten up already so it's not coming out clearly i'll, I'll post the pictures up oh my god look at that one there <laughs> that's completely cracked so the next thing to do right now is take this over to the table and I'm just going to basically re-solder all of these points. So get the soldering iron and get some solder and yeah, just heat them up and put some new solder on them. Hey, I'm liking this. Wow. It's got to, got to hold on to this red button for a little bit for it to start warming up, but it tells you the temperature and everything. Wow. Wow. Let's see, has it warmed up yet enough? No. Nope. Mm, but I can smell it. That's tin. I think it's called tinning or tinting or something like that. Apply a nice layer of this here. If you want to know more about soldering, don't learn from me because I don't really know all that much. All I know is to do that. <laughs> right. Let's find those bad solders and solder them. <sighs> Fingers crossed I can do a decent job of this. Oh, I'm gonna lower the temperature on the soldering gun. Back to three, 350 and then let's uh, work our magic. One. Oh. I don't think you guys can see this very well at the moment. Let's see if I can decide it. Oh, it's too awkward to do it from all the way over there. So I'm going to sit you guys there and uh, let me do my magic. Might be a little bit too much solder on that one. Actually, can you get too much solder? I don't know if you can. If you can, I'm probably going to do it today. Oop, that one's completely unsoldered itself. So I need to apply some. Oh, now that's too big of a ball. Right, that one is definitely too big. So, is there a way of removing some of the solder? Ah, right, I'm just gonna carry on with the rest and come back to that one if I need to. I'm just gonna go and do them all whilst I'm here. So those newer ones were much better than the old ones. Still not perfect from a soldering point of view, but I'm happy with that. Let's try and take a little bit of solder off this big fat one. Or at least try to make it more pointy or something. There we go. Got a little bit of solder off there. So it's so much harder doing these kind of things when you're on camera. Right, I'm just gonna go test this out and see how it looks. Um, I don't think any of the other solders are broken. It's weird that it's only these guys that get broken it's only the one that affects the display all right let's uh connect this up first before trying to turn the car on all right let's see one i haven't obviously as you guys can see i haven't put everything back on because I don't really need to at the moment let's see if this has been good enough oh which one's on Wait a minute, no way. Oh my God, I fixed it. <laughs> yes, okay, so you can see that the only fan 
works his maximum at the moment. Oh gosh, okay. Ah, okay, wait, 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 wait. I just had to look at the thing to see what it is. Oh my god! Yes! Ah! Ooh. Okay, I don't know. That's probably outside temperature, minus 30. Probably something wrong there. I hope that's to turn it off. So let's change this back on. That's auto. It's AC. Auto something. Something. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. That's just so cool. And I can't believe I fixed that. This is some of the best things about working on your cars yourself. This, this feeling that I've got right now. If, if you've ever worked on the car yourself and fixed something, you'll know exactly how this feeling feels. It's amazing. It's just amazing. But right, let's strip this out and then look into um, putting everything back together and calling it a job done with this part. So then since I didn't get to show you all what it was like to remove all of this, I'll show you all what it's like to put it back together. So there was the two micro screws in here. Let's go into your right hole. Ah, magnetic screwdrivers make such a difference. I will also say don't rush with this. Don't over tighten things because that's going to be 10 times worse of a problem. And then from here, I took these two out. I actually think you're supposed to put these screws in first before you put the buttons on because the screws go underneath the buttons. It's like it's overlapped slightly, so put these screws back in. Now, when you get it in there, you gotta kind of fill for the hole and you know, eventually you'll get it in. Just gotta tighten it in then. Right, so this guy, you put the you put the top part in first. You know, you get the tip in. Sometimes you you can struggle to get it in, but I think actually no, you got to put it in through. Yeah, you got to put that tip in at the bottom, and then get the the white part to go in. Okay. Ah, see these two guys. They didn't want to go in at the bottom first. They're trying to go straight to the top, but nope, not on my watch. All right. Good thing is these buttons, they only really go in one way. So you can't get them mixed around with each other, not easily anyway. And there we go. And you got the, the fascia that goes on top of this as well. So I'll go grab that in a second. That's everything on. Oh, I'm so happy to have this fixed. <sighs> so the fun just continues with this car because um, the way the car has uh, been prepped previously to my ownership with the roll cage and all those things, it's got a little bit of a, a roll cage bar going down through here. So underneath this, which is normally mounted in, you can see there is a little bit of a Work. and this I believe is the solenoid for the wipers I need to check this out a little bit but yeah so that's the the wiper motor thingy majiggity diggity um, the wiper motor is just over there so I'm gonna probably play with the wiper motor first see if it's getting signal from inside there and if not might it might most likely be this so fingers crossed I'm probably gonna order a new one of those if I can or find a second hand one might ask a friend to see if they can borrow me theirs um, just to kind of make sure mine works and if it does if my yeah basically just do some diagnostics with the other one see if it's actually this or if it's anything else but let's see how it goes actually wait so let me show you guys this 
It's disconnected it and that's a lot of more dirt and moisture and it doesn't sound the healthiest inside of there either. Don't think it's supposed to be making that noise, but um Jidiko Jaideko Japan. But yeah, I wanna quickly give this a little clean up with um, some electrical cleaner and stuff and try to get these pins a little bit cleaner and also clean up the, the inside connector as well. Whatever works. Well, whatever I can try to make it work is what I'm gonna do first. Get some of this gunk out of here. So they might have realized uh, that pin there looks to be missing which is probably the cause of some of my issues. So uh, <laughs> I don't actually know how much clearing this, uh, what well, cleaning this is gonna do, but yeah, it's gonna see how it goes. So far that's a no go, that didn't work. So I'm just coming around to the other side. I'm gonna have a look at the, the motor and stuff and see what is actually going on over here. With all these leaves here, it's clearly not a good sign, but right, clean up. My gosh, this car's interior is getting, uh, it's almost like I'm doing an ambient light install with the amount of stuff I'm removing, but yeah. So uh, basically now I'm just taking off this trim piece because I want to fix this switch from always hanging out. I also wanted to have a quick look at the connections over there for that light, um, for the wiper and stuff. So to do that, it's gonna undo the screws for the bottom area and then the screws around this. So you got two, three screws underneath that lower trim. So just doing that now. I think it's going quite well. Some of it's very different from what I've ever done before, but yeah, I've figured out that the heater has definitely been blocked off. So I need to redo all of that. That's gonna be long, but it's a project car. It's uh, all part of the fun, I guess. Fun little update. <laughs> so I take this off and I realize the wiring for this connector as well is off. So I'm probably just gonna connect that up, but still gonna have a look around. I think I, all of this alarm stuff, it's gonna be a bit annoying to take the whole thing out. So yeah, it's all part of the fun. It's all the wiring for this other stuff down here that is causing me headache. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so lower that down. Damn, this is tight. Literally got zero idea on how to remove that. Right, let's do all the other clips. Why does everything have to be so hard? Ah. Okay, right. Let's try this. What was that? Oh no. Okay, well at least it didn't break. That's good. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Gosh. The wiring madness behind here is just it's, it's surreal. I think that's the best way to put it. Why does this car have to fight me sometimes? It's technically, it's not the, the car's actual fault. It's more the previous owners. Okay, everything's off on this side over here. Which I think would have been a success, but now this guy won't. What's going on now? There we go, okay. So I fixed it. I fixed the light. Yeah. So uh, I basically, um, so I basically uh, couldn't exactly take off the face to this and stuff. And I didn't want to break it. So I just thought I want to temporarily just put some tape on it just so it doesn't keep popping out and hanging out. But weirdly enough, it actually kind of works with the electrical tape just being there. So I'm going to leave that as it is, put everything back on and then focus on just the seat belts, I think. I think, I don't know, but let's see. New thing I learned about my car is if I connect this switch back up inside, it basically causes the dashboard lights to all stay on. So I see why it was disconnected, but that's still not good. But at least I've learned that. And um, yeah, something else to get to the bottom of, unfortunately. Hey everyone, so basically that's the end of this video. Um, just to recap on everything, it's been a while um, since I originally did all the work. There's been a few other changes to the GTR since then, so I'm gonna leave that behind me and try not to show all of those bits off. 
But what I do want to say is, is basically one, the wipers, I, I still waiting for that relay um, to kind of test out with. I'm going to try and find one if I can, because um, I'm pretty sure it's the relay for the wipers that's gone. Two, the universal seat belts that I bought, that's basically not gone forward. Um, the the heater control, that all still works. Obviously, I don't get any heating because there's nothing going to the heater core. But at least the display looks nice when I turn it on. <laughs> so, as you can all see, when you press everything, it all works nice. You know, you got all the mode controls. You can hear the motors moving in the back. Well, the only one. Uh, Econ. I think that's basically normal heating and not AC. All the buttons, everything works perfectly and well, got nothing and then maximum everything. And yes, that's pretty much it with the 32 at the moment. So I'm really happy. I Oh, it's just great again you all saw how excited and happy i was when i finally got the display to actually come on because before you had to press it in a certain way and sometimes the display came on and otherwise it wouldn't and yeah it just it's just little things like that that just make your experience with the car a little bit nicer but like i said there's a lot more to come with this car i can't wait to keep digging into it all make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more content about this car and all the other projects going on Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment if you'd like to see anything in particular or um, if you think I could have done anything differently. But I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Hopefully YouTube are recommending a couple of nice ones for you to watch for the time being. Anyway, peace out. Bye.